when I saw in which building it was, I was okay, this is professional and this is going to be something good. I was pleasantly surprised by the colorful crowds, by the students coming from all over the place. When I applied, I didn't know that it was the first year at the university, so for me it was a surprise. I remember just walking through this alley of yachts, it was pretty awesome. Being in a work environment, not only studying environment, that actually changed a lot of my perspective of that I knew I chose the right path and I, I chose the right uh, school to come and study. It's really funny, it's like, you know, it's like you, you find these characters from every part of the world and you put them together in Barcelona and that's how Harvest Space is from. I'm a character from India, there's a character from the US, there's a character from Russia and we are so, uh, like, so different in our own ways and, and yet we live and stay together in perfect harmony. When I first came to Harbor Space, I was very much impressed with the building, the location, the amazing Barcelona life, as well as the multiculturalness of all the students here. I just knew it, that it was perfect and this was the place I had to be. Because there were people from so many different countries, from such different backgrounds, which, which really interests me. So the thing that attracted me about Harbor Space in the first place was that these people weren't teachers, they're professionals in their field and the first few weeks with Kamran coming and teaching us, I really just saw that come to life before my eyes and it was better than I could imagine. So much of learning, so much of unlearning actually, so much of relearning and it's, it's just this whole process of being here doing something, it's, it's so different. I think 80% of our time is spent in, in this campus. You know when I came here and I was learning from Kamran and Irene, and they weren't teachers, they weren't um, protecting you. They were getting you ready for the real world. Well, I think my best experience in Harbor Space was my first solo exhibition that I had downstairs, Memoirs of an Intergalactic Traveler. Meeting all these amazing people, students or faculty. My best experience was the classroom, actually. I liked everybody in the class. We were only with 20 students in the beginning. We're really good friends all, and we can all like get along very well. People from Google, Anton and Irene, David Mikula, Joshua Davis. I mean, having these stars coming to teach me, for me, was something priceless. There were Irene's courses. They were like the best for me, and I learned a lot. Irene and her courses opened me the doors to design. After coming here and after working on a freaking virtual reality project, now I feel like I can do anything. Some of the experiences I had that actually marked my life here in Barcelona. I mean, first of all, you have an amazing city, a multi super cool multicultural city, and also being able to attend OFF and being able to attend SONAR. For me, that was like super inspiring to all the next work that I'm going to be doing. My best experience at the Op Festival was uh, listening to the lecture by G Monk and also Joshua Davis uh, because we knew that he's going to be our tutor and it was like really fun to see him before that. Just mind-blowing overall and just an amazing experience to be there. And I think the best part of the year was being able to do these amazing projects and get the kind of help that I needed and I don't think I would get that anywhere else. I met a lot of amazing people here from all, all over the world and a, lo a lot of people here really inspired me. I grow a lot from this experience. It, it, it was definitely worth it. You know, I was glad that I had people to look up to, um, especially women around who I can pull as inspiration who've gone through the same struggles, but have, you know, found the light. And I think that's what I really love about Harper Space. The fact that I was getting to be around people like Joshua Davis. That man's crazy. He's just, he's just crazy, man. Like, just having him in class was like uplifting the whole energy of the class. Some of them I love their teaching style, like Irene and Rachel and Munish. And some of them I love their positivity, like Stephanie, Stephanie Schwab, and Joshua Davis. A person like Kamran, uh, I, I probably would have heard him in some conference or the other, but never really got so close to him. And to understand a person like him, and I remember like whenever he used to give, uh, whenever he used to come for his lectures, 
all i did was just keep looking at this guy you know looking at every movement that he does the humility that he you know radiates it's 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 amazing i definitely designed thinking with carolyn that that blew my mind um the class with um manish and rachel was really really good stephanie of course because she then she ended up becoming my mentor so that for me was wow someone truly believing that i can i have what it takes to be a digital marketer that that blew my mind my best experience at harbor space was being challenged to be my best version working really hard throughout days and nights and also seeing the tangible results of it growing so much and being imp so impressed with myself when i look back excited about Harbor Space and I have only warm feelings about this place. I will miss the people of course but I will also miss Barcelona as a city and the good weather of course. I will miss Sindora of course because she's my best friend. <laughs> I will definitely miss the colleagues, the classmates. Yeah, so we kind of really bonded in this one year so I'm definitely gonna miss the people. We all just became a big big family here it will be really will be really sad to to go um, some of the things that I would miss when I leave Harbor space is being challenged to do crazy work I'm gonna miss the the classroom environment we challenge ourselves and each other really well and we push ourselves to do the best and I think that's an environment I'm literally not going to be able to find anywhere else. I'm going to miss my classmates the most. Apart from all the education and all the amazing learning and everybody that came here, and I'm grateful for it, I think if I didn't have the people who I studied with to, you know, help me take criticism, I'm having a lot of fun, you know, and I'll, I really miss that. If I'm not in Barcelona, and of course I'll miss the city, because I think it, it has this vibe and energy that I love and I also think it never sleeps. I've made such good friends over here and um, I'm getting a little uh, emotional because thinking about it like it's, it's almost been a year now, it's getting over and I don't know when I'll see these people again. So uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of funny, you know, it's, it's someone that you, you never thought you would meet. I'm going to miss the fact that we all came together, we were here together every day, we got to know each other, we got to be in each other's lives, we got to create bonds that's going to obviously last for a lifetime. That I'm going to miss, that I'm really, really going to miss, having such amazing people around me all the time. I feel like we created a family here and I will definitely miss all the students that I met and shared this very intense year with because we grew so much as a family. Okay, let the bat is getting Don't jump. Who's coming? Oh, we're jumping? Yeah, we're jumping. Zoom, we're going to fall right through the No, no, don't jump. And no footfall. Really? Come on. Jazz making a video.